100,000 people last year died from liver disease and more than half of these were alcohol related. Hi, I'm Dr. Derry. In today's video, I'm going to take you through five of the most common signs of end-stage liver disease. Let's start it all off by looking at a sign known as ascites. This is a medical term that explains the buildup of fluid in the abdomen. This occurs because in end-stage liver disease, a lot of pressure builds up in the vein that supplies blood to the liver. And when this occurs, the liver doesn't work well, and also the kidneys also don't work very well. So the kidneys can't get rid of any excess fluid. And over time, this fluid can accumulate, and what happens, the fluid leaks into the abdominal cavity. This is why you have this fluid buildup in the abdomen. Next up is a sign known as spider angiomas. Now spider angiomas, if you have a look at this picture here, these are spider shaped vessels that are seen on the skin. So these tiny red vessels that appear on the skin, these occur because in end stage liver disease, there's a lot of pressure and a lot of buildup due to this pressure. So these tiny blood vessels get really engorged, which is why you can see it on the surface of the skin. Now, by cutting down on how much alcohol you're consuming, this will be able to reverse a lot of these skin signs of liver damage that we see. So number three on the list of signs that we see in end-stage liver disease is jaundice. Now, jaundice is the yellowing of the skin or the whites of the eye. So this yellowing of the skin and the whites of the eye is caused by a chemical compound known as bilirubin. And, and bilirubin has this yellow orange pigment. Now, in end-stage liver disease, the liver is unable to process this bilirubin. So bilirubin will build up in the skin and also in the whites of the eyes. And when this buildup happens, that's when you see that yellowing of the skin and of the eyes. So reducing alcohol intake is so important in returning the skin to its healthy tone. Next up on our list of signs seen in end-stage liver disease is easy bruising. Now easy bruising happens because the liver when its function is really drastically reduced is unable to produce platelets. Now platelets are essential for blood clotting. In addition to not having enough platelets around to clot your blood, liver damage also will affect the health of the blood vessels. So you can see why significant liver damage means that bruise a lot more easily. So really keeping an eye and reducing any excessive alcohol intake is so important because a healthy liver can then produce platelets and therefore reduce this easy bruising as a symptom. This restores the overall body's normal blood clotting function. Last on our list is a sign number five is the development of breast tissue in men. Now this occurs in end-stage liver disease because excessive alcohol can disrupt the body's hormone balance. And when the liver is damaged significantly, this can cause more estrogen to be produced as a hormone in the body. So both men and women have increased estrogen levels and with more estrogen in males, this is what can lead to the breast tissue development. Excessive alcohol intake is the most common cause of liver disease in the UK and around one in five people are defined as having excessive alcohol intake in the UK. So this can be defined as both men and women having more than 14 units a week on a consistent basis. This is why annual events like Dry January are so important to so just give you the support and the mindset that you need to really reduce and cut down how much alcohol you're taking. I'll attach a link to the description with so many other resources that I think you really benefit from. As always, if you found the video today helpful, please leave a like and subscribe and make sure to share this with any friends and family that you feel benefit from today's video. And until the next time, I'll see you soon.